you'd probably expect this flat field to be uniform and therefore easy for a farmer to manage. But believe it or not, beneath the surface lies an abundance of variability. No field is exactly uniform, so farmers should treat each area according to the specific needs of the soil. This requires help from modern machinery and sensors. So now with the technology that's available in the spreader trucks and with the GPS location, now we have the ability to, to apply what we need in terms of fertility, where we need it, in the amount that we need it. This ability to apply the right amount of resources in the right place at the right time helps address specific crop needs and achieve more consistent results. We call this precision agriculture. The cropping systems and water quality research unit in Columbia, Missouri put this approach into action on a 90-acre field located near Centralia, Missouri. They rented the land from local farmers Don and Vicki Collins. It just seems like a natural process. Keep learning, um, researching, trying to do the best, to get the best out of what you have. In the early 1990s, scientists from the unit started observing the soil variation using sensors, sampling, and measurements they found an incredible amount of variability. We're working with not only ge uh, geological processes that form this soil that make it different in different locations, we're also working with past management that makes things different in different locations of the field. After measuring soil and crop variability for over 10 years, the researchers saw an opportunity to use this information to practice precision farming. In 2005, the research unit developed a strategy that turned their knowledge of the field's variability into a precision plan. This included various site-specific management practices aimed at both crop production and environmental goals. They called it a precision agriculture system. The precision agricultural system that we apply on this field takes advantage of modern technologies to help us to understand crop need as we go from one area of the field to the next. In all the years of study, the cost of farming using a precision agriculture system has been about the same as traditional farming, but the benefits have been great. Yields are more stable, and soil and water quality are improved. Now, the field, along with an updated version of the precision agriculture system, continue to support research. The site serves as an aspirational cropping system in the long-term agroecosystem research network or LTAR. Ultimately, our land is a limited resource. Soil doesn't just grow back. We need to do everything we can to protect it so it can be used to grow crops for years to come. We're here, we gotta pay our bills, but we gotta think about the future. Uh, your family, your grandkids, your, you know, the next generation. And like I say, <laughs> we're decreasing farmland every day and we gotta learn how to make more crops from what we have.